Okay, this is not going to be a long video. This is going to be very quick. Um, so I've got, now I got the, you guys see the bottom portion. Now I got the top portion. Um, it was very hard to do the breasts. Uh, it's a little bit stuck out, but um, did pay attention to Biling's cup size. So um, got the little bit of the logo, um, but it was tough. It's sort of like it has to hug the the frame. It has to hug this this board, but at the same time still be 3D. This was tough to do. I'm going to tell you, this was really hard to do. It's like assembling a bunch of shapes together, but that's how I, when I draw in 2D, that's how I do things. So um, putting the arms together is not an issue. Now, I have the head, which I just cut together. This head will not, I will not glue the head on now because I'm going to put the ears sort of like with this when you see the um, you see the eyes nose and mouth and stuff like that all the details here but um, with this one uh, I gotta put the the face details and then the ears and then the hair and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the bun of Biling's hair here then I'm gonna when I put once I put the face and ears and nose, I'm going to put hair on this, glue this on top. So I'll show you real quick what it would look like. If I can, if I can show you. So it's like this. So we have to pretend. And for the arms, the arms are going to be the final piece. So I'm thinking they're going to be uh, like these squares that you're seeing here. It's going to be like a diagonal square connected to long rectangles. And they'll extend out and then they'll extend out to hold the octagon sign and that'll be the end of the piece uh, this is going to be a little difficult uh, I might even have to use the stapler I have a stapler back here so I don't see the stapler but there's a stapler somewhere in this oh here it is so what I have as far as this goes this is the stapler it's a very nice stapler. One guy at the post office said so. So if I have to staple the arms a little bit to hold on to the to the base of this, then that's what I'll do. But I'm not going to really use this until I am absolutely sure it, that the glue is not going to hold it all together. But I think it can. I'm just not as uh, I'm not just I'm not I'm just not as dexterous as some people. They can really make these very cool pop ups. Um, uh, if you look at, um, like, this is a book, a pop-up, uh, where figures pop up out of the book, and they have these really intricate ways of making these 2D cutouts into 3D figures pop out of a book. I'm not that skilled, honestly. This would not work in a pop-up book, but uh, as, a, as, like, a 3D greeting card, that would work all right. But I think Biling will like this, and... Um, so tonight, or later on today and tonight, I'm just going to work on the head. Then I'm going to work on the arms. I should have some, I should give you some indication. By Friday, I plan to be completely done with this, and maybe I'll just show it off Friday. But for this particular piece, because of the nature of it, it's not a, just simply a 2D image. Um, it's just that it's, it's going to take, I'm just doing it in small segments so that uh, you can see how I'm doing this as I go along. It's a lot of folding. It's a lot of gluing and finger crossing and hoping that it comes out okay. Um, but I wanted to get Biling's proportions right. Skinny legs, nice hips, belly button, breasts and neck and everything. So, uh, so I'm just going to keep on working on this and see how far I get.